from the disk will load the procedural motion tail starts point and then on the setup we'll go and double click to add a new slider we're going to call the channels for these uh, curl and offset and frequency and then if I right click these little circles they'll disappear from the slider because we don't really need those extra channels and it just makes it visually a little bit tidier then uh, under command I'll go to the bottom here and we'll add seven new variables Now in this very first one we'll call this time factor underscore exp. And now the only reason I'm using the underscore exp is to separate expressions from names of channels. Now the time factor is literally just whichever frame we're on divided by a certain amount. In this case we're going to use now divided by 100 and now just calls the current frame and we divide that by 100 so we get a fraction of it um, now we're going to create the frequency underscore exp again frequency expression and that's going to read in this frequency value that we have on our slider here and uh, we can do that by going to the expressions and uh, left clicking on the button next to the buffer or if I right click it it will pop directly into the expression field and then I'm going to um, multiply this by 10 like so and now this next one we'll call the curl exp this is the curl expression and this will be this expression here and what we're looking to do is we're looking to have it sort of kind of start off um, at uh, 0.5 and then to the left of it it will go one way and to the right of it it will go another and because of that we'll um, right click again here on the buffer field with the channel selected and then we'll go multiply by 2 minus 1 if we hit the debug value now we'll see that um, this sort of goes to minus 1 or to 1 depending on which side of the slider it's on okay so it starts off at sort of 0 around the middle now the next one is the offset underscore x which is the offset expression and uh, that's of course controlled by this offset slider well um, let's click here let's copy that into the x field and then go minus 0.5 this gives us uh, again another sort of minus minus one half to one half range for this slider. And now um, what we're going to do is the end of the wave, which is the end wave expression. And now we're literally going to call time factor times the frequency and then for our start wave expression we're going to call the same the result of this expression but now also add the offset expression so I'll just copy the name here paste it on the end and you can see how these values now they're affected by the 
by the um, uh, the values that we have in these other expressions. So as the time factor is counting up, um, these other variables come into play and result in various values. Yeah. And now finally, we can use the um, chain wave expression to actually create the motion. So we pick the let's see the chain wave uh, expression. And um, we start with the top of the tail, which is up here. Click this little button to pop it into the expression. And we go all the way down to, in fact, the tail base. Pop this in here. And we're looking to work on the heading of this, uh, of all of this, the channels, which is basically the sort of side to side rotation. Um, and now we'll go and uh, pipe the various values that we need into here. So we'll go, first we want the end wave expression to be uh, the first variable. And then we want the curl expression to be the second variable. And then the um, start wave expression is the last variable here. And now when we pick down on this expression here, uh, let's see, we'll call that apply motion. And then I will right click on this button that is next to the actual chain wave expression and that this again pops all of this stuff that we have below here directly into the expression list. And now when we go to animate and pick a little slider, let's see what happens when we play. Right now there's not too much going on, but if we increase the curl a little bit and increase the offset, we can sort of start seeing uh, kind of tail type motion with a nice little offset and a nice little overlap looking thing uh, going on. And all of the motion is procedural and uh, can be keyed using these values. And it can also be keyed uh, over the top. So you can pick this bone here and uh, and drag it around and we can see that the sort of the procedural motion continues over the top in a non-destructive way. And hopefully this will help you uh, do uh, procedural tales.